Hi, I'm Xin Li from Straits Interactive, and I help HR Tech and Corporate Secretariat or CorpSec companies to find answers to the three biggest questions in data protection. Namely, why do others want my data? How does this affect me? And what can I do about it? Personal data is also commonly known as the new oil because of its tremendous value. Now, in the case of employees' data, this value can rocket due to the amount and sensitivity of personal data involved. Hence, if a data breach happens, the potential damage can be far-reaching. Now imagine, if your name, birthday, NRIC and bank account numbers are leaked, you may find that your credit and financial health can be compromised, and this data are commonly captured by HR or human resource. So here are two HR functions to consider when reviewing privacy risks. Firstly, let's look at recruitment. CVs you know, can be uh, leaked as well, and there may be excessive copies of CVs collected during the recruitment process. When you have outsourced this function to another vendor, you should check how your vendor manages the CVs that they receive. In the case of Search Asia, the CVs were put in a public folder that was accessible by performing a search on an internet search engine, such as Google. Now, if you are in recruitment, or if you are a recruitment tech firm, you should also practice privacy by design principles, or you risk exposing the CVs to such privacy risks. As HR professionals may also be managing the learning and development programs of the company, where learning portals can hold personal data, including the NRIC, especially if professional certifications or government funding is involved. Now, special attention must be given when managing L&D portals, whether directly by the company or via a third-party vendor. A common lapse can be observed from the recent case of Marshall Cavendish and Learnaholic. In both cases, a temporary assess measure was lifted for troubleshooting, but this were not reverted to the original settings. As a result, this allowed hackers to gain access to the system's database, putting over 250,000 personal records at risk. As we turn our attention to CopSec, in recent years, many CopSec firms have also seen increased concerns regarding data protection. In my conversation with many CopSec firms, they have cited concerns of data protection clauses in business contracts and even tenders. Since many CopSec firms offer a multitude of services, based on trust and professionalism, including resident directorship, accounting, legal, and others. CopSec firms should also note that data protection is one of the strong and upcoming pillars in this whole ecosystem. For example, some CopSec firms have been approached to be outsourced DPOs. And the question really is, are you ready to capture this wave of opportunity? The answer is simply that, you cannot do so if you are unable to first demonstrate accountability in data protection. And that goes beyond having appointed a DPO or have crafted policies. Instead, you will need to show evidence of having executed your policies and beyond. Hence, it is important to be operationally compliant with the PDPA and other data protection laws, both to protect your company as well as to unlock the opportunities in this wave. So my friends, don't be the next to suffer from a breach and don't be the last to join the market.